Yeah, good morning. Yes, Shubham, Ganeria, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello. sir. Yeah. Good morning, sir. We'll, we'll continue. Yeah, good morning, good morning. You are the first to join today. We will continue with our theme. They are joining. It's a one, Aditya, Savant. Aditya, Savant is there? Yes, sir. Okay, so we had stopped here and this is what I was telling that this slide is very important. 15 key processes in design, manufacture and customer support. Yes, Savant, Aditya, is it visible, this screen? Yes, sir. <laughs> So in the same will this this would fail in order to get the maximum marks. If it is for the 10 marks, you need to describe this. That is what is your process definition? What comes under manufacturing and what comes under 
customer support. So under customer support, you have vision as main function, sales and promotion is main. In customer services and customer feedback, that is important. There is a difference between sales and marketing. Most of you, they may not know. Sales is nothing but you already have the requirement or you already have the demand for a particular commodity. And you don't have to take much efforts. Whereas marketing means you are generating the need, or you are generating the demand. Demand. That is what is your marketing is, even though it is not required. Like uh, sales already a demand for toothpaste or soap. No, you don't have to take special efforts. Whereas marketing means you are generating the even required. You are generating the demands, you know, in the customer by way of advertisement, constant advertisement. So this also uh, I have discussed. So concurrent engineering, it is nothing but all the departments, they are working simultaneously. That is what is called the concurrent engineering. Earlier, traditional engineering, it was one department followed by other, like marketing. Marketing ke baad, it will go to the purchase. Purchase ke baad, it will go to the planning. In planning ke baad, it will go to the production. And so one after other, uh, there is no simultaneous discussion happening. In concurrent engineering, all the departments they will work together simultaneously. That is marketing person or marketing manager. Moment he gets the order, he will discuss with the production people or he will discuss with the purchase people whether uh, this method is available in the market he will ask production people whether this can be manufactured means even though he knows he is supposed to know actually he will make it sure that yes uh, he will ask the production people whether this is manufactured in our factory or not uh, he will consult planning he will consult the quality assurance manager whether we have sufficient test kits or not and then only and it will go ahead. That is what is for the concurrent engineering, means working together. And fifth point was resource responsibilities of the enterprises. So resources means any resources, any resources, you can be well, the most important is people, of course. But if it is the unmanned plan, then people are not the resources. Materials is a resource because you are doing some processing on the materials, then tools, or tools means your cutting tools as well as your machine tools, so that is the resource, equipments, even information also, the flow of information, uh, infor information, uh, what you give or what you need, that is all kind of uh, resource, uh, technology, and your suppliers, of course, they are the resources, right? And then the response, has to be distributed among all. Uh, responsibility can vary from small responsibility to the large responsibility. Uh, as I said, the chairman of the company, he has a vision for another you know, five years, that what is the company is going to do for the next five years, okay, which product uh, is going to be uh, launched in the market, what will be its demand, uh, that is forecasting, etc. Where the company will be. Uh, that is what the chairman's responsibility. Chairman's responsibility is to take the company ahead, uh, to make the profitable company. Uh, so he, even though he doesn't have much work, uh, he has the, the highest responsibility. Whereas if you talk about uh, if you talk about helper or if you talk about sweeper, they are responsible for day to day work. First, itna sweep kya, mera kaam khatam ho. He is not, you know, he doesn't have any vision except. But as per the last latest, you know, quality management standards or TPM standards or certification standards, what they say that even the smallest uh, employee uh, at the lower risk cadre, he should be trained and he should should know what is going on in the company, what the company is going to do. That is, and that is what is called the total involvement. Uh, that is what he says uh, 
lean manufacturing or what the certification agency said that there has to be involvement of each and every body in the company that everyone knows huh? what the company wants what the management wants huh? what they are doing let the company know be transparent be transparent then only you get the maximum contribution from the what they believe and that is true also everybody should have a concept feeling of ownership yes this is my company here yes, this is my department here yes, this is my machine here yes, this is my area i will take you know charge of this you see that my department will run into profit uh, they will not be lost and that is what is called as the ownership the concept of ownership is only when a particular uh, resource or a particular person is totally involved and that is what the responsibility as i discussed the response the resources are people and their skills it is leadership is also resources materials uh, and your tools equipment machinery facilities information and technology that is um, automatic technology or what is the latest technology what you are thinking that is robotics etc then suppliers then uh, as resources flow into the enterprise value is added and finished goods and services flow out the customer so you have to see that there is always a value addition at every moment there is a value addition at every moment that has to be seen so these are the responsibilities paid uh, so i also have some responsibilities towards the companies like i will not uh, do the wastages that is i will uh, have my responsibility is to have minimum wastages uh, or sustainable ecology isn't it so that is my responsibilities i must follow all the regulations and regulatory trends uh, so maybe at a worker level or at a lower level uh, actually we are not uh, calling them as a worker you know as per the uh, lean manufacturing or as per the agile manufacturing or as per the certification people he is a stakeholder uh, is a staff and uh, there is nothing like you should not call them as a helper or you should not call them as a worker you know everybody is at the same level and this concept is followed and most of this is also like if you visit japan in panuk the canteen is same uh, canteen is same right from from the helper to the topmost person maybe chairman uh, the same canteen the same food is served everyone so the everybody you know is treated as equal yes there is a difference between wages of course depending upon the um, what kind of effort they put even the living standards also there is not much difference in like suppose if you visit singapore singapore may you will not see you know like bungalows you know many bungalows or not see like huts you know you will not see slums you know you will always see your uh, multi story buildings story buildings 20 stories 30 stories and in the same building probably uh, you know the owner of the company is staying and in the same buildings the staff of the company same company also staying so this is what you know it for the equality and there is not much you know difference between the you know wages profits are shared profit so the inequality is not there so everybody feel that here yes, this is my company and i will put my best Uh, it should be then of course there has to be a proper manufacturing infrastructure that is ergonomics uh, should be followed the task has to be assigned properly uh, to the worker you know i mean the task which can be executed that only has to be assigned to the workers and ergonomics has to be followed ergonomics means he should be able to work comfortably that is he should not be he should not bend you know uh, because he has to do the task repetitive task if it is a mass production mm-hmm. for 8 hours you know, continuously so maybe for one day or two day or three days he will be able to do maybe if he is young he will be able to do but what happens uh, if he becomes aged or what happens in the fourth day 
and since the studies has been taken over a period of a week uh, the efficiency goes on increasing monday tuesday it is high friday it is high and then again it goes on on friday or saturday it is the least uh, then the that means the resource or the person need a rest and that's why we give a holiday even the time studies or the chronograph or the cyclograph are prepared on daily basis also like what the efficiency of the person um, in the morning at 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock it can be monitored automatically so automatic means the lactose level or the glucose level uh, the samples are taken uh, blood samples uh, and the lactose which are you know, tested tested so the creation of lactose you know it gives you know whether the person is under fatigue or whether he is tired or whether he is working efficiently so this all comes you know under you know industrial engineering uh, and ergonomics it is all comes uh, it's again a very good branch so a proper infrastructure in order to get good efficiency is required so this was about you know seem very important from examination point of view almost uh, the weightage is around 8 to uh, 10 marks that is uh, described the seam will we'll go for Right, as I said, yeah, once you complete this seam, then I will come to programming because I have to take some more questions from the university uh, question paper. So I will just uh, quickly go through this. This I will be sharing the classroom. The new manufacturing enterprise will. it describes the six critical success factors that is customer customer is the king customer has to be there the so customer satisfaction is always important then teamwork huh? no organization works you know single handed if the organization if it is single handed then there is a limitation for the growth remember tomorrow you will also become entrepreneur so if you are working if everything you are doing you know on your own that is actually good huh? because then you are not into loss the disadvantage of this is that uh, i mean you will not be able to grow you means the, the organization see how much maximum turnover you alone can do in a fifth half of a crore 50 lakhs 100 lakhs 2 crores you will have limitation beyond that it is not possible you know for singles so you have to develop a you know, good team you know, to train your people so to take your entire people team with you and it is possible you know 1 crore for 2 crores 2 crores for 50 crores and 100 crores and definitely if the company grows then there is no limit for the profit of 5 crores Uh, even if you consider a five percent of net profit, and if it is the, the turnover is say um, one crore, then you get a profit of five lakhs. So it's up to you whether to go ahead with five lakhs or to go ahead with five crores. So the teamwork is very important. Uh, teamwork, people's knowledge, and that's why there are you know same in uh, the HR in for the festivals. You know, cultural festivals or sports, you know, so that you know there is interaction. You know, people come together, and, you know, feeling of unity. Shared knowledge is 
must and that's why you know i also insist on documentation documentation means what you are sharing yeah? you are developing sops yeah? you are writing sops so tomorrow if you are into some other role if some other role is offered then what you have been doing if it is document then another person who is taking charge uh, can understand can go through the sops and can understand okay. because if you are knowledge and then you cannot you know grow you cannot promote uh, this is the same actually uh, we had discussed uh, in the same bill this will be helpful for you to you know write or to describe you know your brief questions like here the manufacturing infrastructure so while a company may see itself as self contained its success depends on customers competitors suppliers and other factors in the environment see you have to have a close vigil on the competitor this is what is very important so if you have something very new uh, or something very monopoly uh, the people are there to copy people and less than until it is very you know secret but now the market is such you know that uh, you have product new and then within a week it will get copied i say So the prior priority will always come. So you should be you should be the best of the best. I say you should be faster than your competitors. Always, every day you should you know take a run through that what your competitor is doing. And the best time is early in the morning. Tomorrow you'll become entrepreneur. The best time is you wake up, refresh yourself, and at least spend half an hour. that what your competitors are doing what your competitors are doing, to the facebook or to the uh, uh, to the net uh, that is what is important then only you can stand uh, whether my competitor has got new machine usne koi naya machine liya naya technology liya whether he is going to launch some new product or new model uh, you should have a close in otherwise you will be out of the you know, market this is what had uh, happened with uh, premier automobiles as this example also had given you know, premier automobiles they are enjoying the market you know for many years only with the two models you know premier padmini and premier ambassador but what happened when maruti entered this they had to close the both the plants kurla plant as well as you know dombul so pto is a short form for people and teamwork in the organization i can say elaboration i'm just uh, running through it in key processes has to has to come and that this will has to come when it is in marks the help of uh, you know technology that is networking now this concept is picking up in you know lockdown virtual labs virtual digital marketing digital learning the presentation has been given in word form in this file so when i upload 
you already know that yes and this is the word fan of the presentation okay so we'll quickly go through you know toyoto as you know again this is important for short note either in question 1 or in question Aria. number 6 question number 1 is for the short note and number 6 is also in short Aria. note and usually question number 1 is very and it has to be you know on the whole syllabus it has to be on the whole syllabus and question number 6 is short notes it can be on whole syllabus or it can be you know biased you know normally it is five marks per question so as i told gt is nothing but just in time lean manufacturing and the toyota production system so toyota is the automobile manufacturer all of us we know and gt is nothing but a tool uh, in lean manufacturing so lean is lean manufacturing is nothing but it's basically a mindset and its focus is on producing the seven best and then seven best are abbreviated as uh, team wood that is uh, t stands for wastage due to transport i stands for wastage due to inventory you should not have too much of transport that is material movement then i stands for inventory that is your inventory should not be there it works on the zero inventory and so on so these are the seven waste mode then m and w and two there are two o's huh? the two o's are important so one is wastage due to over production and another is wastage due to over over processing so over production means you have been asked to produce 100 pieces and you are very enthusiastic and you have produced 100 so when you are asked to produce 100 pieces that is where you have been asked to give only you know two points and only give two points uh, don't give three points or one don't give so that is what is your over production is and over processing means that is if you have been asked to give that is if the tolerance is say 50 micron then don't unnecessarily produce 5 microns or 10 microns within 5 microns or 10 microns produce it within 50 microns only that is what is your core position because when you are trying to be you know in 5 microns or when you are trying to see if you are making it 0 0 absolutely no problem but without consuming much cost it should not be you know that is the cost should not be more it is cost for cost of production cost for producing 50 micron and cost for producing 1 micron should be nearly same then it is fine so these seven ways are in lean manufacture and we see that seven waste are reduced in lean manufacture so what was the first to introduce this jet concept just in that time and then later on it was accepted so the main objective was to reduce the 
manufacturing lead time because this now you will see even though the weightage is high marks this has been given as a separate presentation because this jeep is required everywhere not in uh, the company not in the mnc's not in the big companies but even if it is a small company or even at home also uh, your lean manufacturing has to be there understand like searching time you should not keep on searching where is my shirt where is my unnecessary you should not you know for your mother do me that notebook do me that notebook keep on searching so the lean man this, this is a waste it's waste of time so the lean manufacturing believe that this time should be zero you know you do not keep on searching 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 if any organization uh, if you feel that the people are constantly working you know continuously you know doing searching uh, moving here and there you know running here and there with the file you know, that is everybody may be busy or pretends to be busy you know then it is not a good sign it is not a good sign you are trying to pretend you are trying to impress hmm? like a table ha huh? you like tomorrow if you join office and your table is full with the files you are trying to show your boss or you are trying to impress others that yes see how much loaded you are but that's not a good sign hmm. the table be you know no files huh? or a clean and clear table uh, that indicates that you are efficient you are done away and you are free to do uh, the other work or you are free to do developmental work or maybe you are doing developmental activities that is what is an indication uh, you should be free for development activities and not stuck in the routine activities uh, if you are living at 7 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the night again it's not a good sign maybe you are overloaded you will be you need assistant or maybe you are less efficient i'm sorry hmm? it could be like that could be like that it mean like that hmm? not that inefficient but you could be overloaded also and how can you work this every day 16 hours so you need some helping hand isn't it if you are working from morning say 7 o'clock and till night 9 pm you know 14 hours so you need uh, you to look into the you know process you to look into the system i like this so you have to as i said that it is it believes in single piece flow so work in process has to be zero the material should be processed and you should get a smooth interrupted flow so traditional it is actually a push production whereas jeep believes in pull production that is whenever there is a you execute and push production means you irrespective of order you make the product and now you are when the piece is made then now you are trying to push it in the market so that is a traditional There is no time, you know. If you say that I will deliver, yes, customer has come. I want a red color car. He will say, so I can give it in three days. Nobody is ready to wait. I want it now. Can you give me now? No. Okay. So he goes to other manufacturer. So this is what you know. The outside world is. It is very scary. I am not making you scared, but yes. outside scenario is very scary hmm. so if you want to stand then definitely you have to sharpen your skills so the order to delivery cycle that is what is called as the lead time that is moment you receive the order okay work order official doc documents then your countdown starts and till you deliver 
deliver means not just the material is rolled out of your gate but the customer has received in his hand that is what is called the delivery so this is called as the lead time and there are many times you know, there is a lead time there is a cycle time there is a flow time there is a total time huh? and every time has definite meaning cycle time is different flow time is different lead time is different up time down time huh? every time has meaning so you would customer places and orders you have entry you are entered then you have designs ready or you forward it to the design you schedule it then you have purchasing lead time you have manufacturing lead time then see the less importance for quality assurance and then you have distribution and customer services so you should have a good you know support of vendors in see now they it is you know supply chain management uh, technology is uh, supplier based so you should have good relations and good contacts with the vendors so vendor supplies the parts then normally most of the mnc's they have assembly stations or assembly lines if required you can have your own subsidiary under different name your company only but under different name subsidiaries or you can have a separate vendor like kirloskar engines they manufacture engines only very few companies not all companies they have their own engine manufacturing plant so they take engines from outside like the logs go come in sector and they do the assembly chassis nobody manufacture you know chassis on their own automobile plant so they procure from supplier from the fabricator they give the technology to the vendor they train they have support 24 by 7 like mahindra will deploy their engineer to vendor yes and it is true they are the engineers are on the role of mahindra but they are continuously sitting at the vendor's place uh, just to see that nothing goes wrong this is how it works and then material from the vendor goes to the parent companies for the assembly so as i said the focus is on west focus is on west so what it is it is basically a management philosophy it is pull system to the plant what it does it attacks west it poses the problems identify the bottlenecks this is what is engineering that you have to keep identifying the bottleneck and keep improving the system what it requires it requires uh, employee participations continuous improvement water or maybe whatever small it may be total quality control not inspection quality control means your process capability comes under the quality control that is your processes should be capable and it believes in small light lot six hmm? and repeatability or stability is important that is whatever you are producing in the morning you should get the same tolerance in the afternoon same tolerance in the evening same tolerance tomorrow day after tomorrow and days after day that is what an engineer should ensure or engineer should do so it is after pure production that emphasizes the minimization of the amount of all resources 
used in various activities. So all the activities are divided into two parts basically. One is called the VA and another is called the NVA. So VA is nothing but uh, there is a lot to talk. But we have to go a little fast. VA is nothing but uh, value adding activities. Whereas NVA is nothing but non-value adding activities. See, remember the customer is uh, paying for value addition. He is not paying for non-value adding activity. Let's suppose simple example I'll give you that suppose if you are machining a job on lathe, you are doing a turning. So the customer is paying for the time required for the turning. So that is the value addition activity. Other activities you have to reduce that is you know loading of the component, unloading of the component inspection time if you are doing inspection cleaning you know degreasing greasing degreasing so these activities are not being paid so those come under non value adding of course in so you cannot eliminate any way non value adding you cannot eliminate because loading means you have to do the loading unloading means you have to do unloading but certain tasks like if somebody is you know inspecting every component that can be reduced or that can be eliminated. You see. And that is if someone is cleaning every component, every component, every five minutes, that also can be thought of. That can be reduced. If machine is idle, like somebody is doing every going every one hour uh, for, to the toilet for five minutes, then it can be thought of. A spare person or a floating person, a floating staff or a floating worker. Can be assigned. So in NVA, again it is divided into essential and non essential. Essential NVA and non essential NVA. That is loading of the component, unloading of the component is cleaning every now, inspecting each and every component is non essential. So as an engineer, you have to attack those, you have to reduce them. And Process cycle efficiency is calculated as VA upon VA plus NVA. I repeat, PCE is nothing but process cycle efficiency is equal to VA upon VA plus NVA. So you have to try to you know reduce that NVA zero. So Obviously, if your NVA becomes zero, which is not possible, then your process cycle efficiency is 100% because it is VA upon VA. But it is not possible. The company like Toyota uh, could achieve process cycle efficiency of 28% only. 28%. Remember. So there is a lot of scope. No? So you have something called as you know, cells or cellular layouts you know, or a work cell in lean manufacture. The layout is very important when you are talking about a you know, single piece flow. The layout is very important. And layouts, there are different types of layouts like a product layout you have, a process layout you have, mixed layout, uh, or you have a layout for the group technology. Like now, product layout. Product layout method, a product will flow, you know. So you have different different lines for each and every product. That is what is called the product layout. The layout is that for the product. Process layout means one shop is only turning. Okay, so all lathe machines in that section. One shop is only milling. So all milling machines in that shop. I'll show you this. One is only grinding, one is only gear cutting. In gear cutting, also one and there are different sections. 
So one section will only do per gear manufacturing. Uh, other section will only do metal gear manufacturing. Some more sections they will do only bevel gear like that it is. So that is what is process. Mix what is the combination of product and process. Our intent is that uh, material should not be static. Material should continuously flow. That is, the processes or operation should happen. Material. That is what is important. Now this slide is very important from the perspective of seam and lean. So, as I have been telling that lean manufacturing is nothing but identification and elimination of the waste. And those waste are seven waste. Huh? That is team move. That is food waste due to transport, waste due to inventory, waste due to your um, methods, then waste due to W standard weighting, that is material should not wait, then waste due to overproduction, then waste due to Core processing and finally D is waste due to defects. Defects and not delay. Many times students answer D for waste due to delay, but no, that waste due to delay is considered a W. W means waste due to waiting. Waiting is nothing but delay. That is material is waiting for the operation to happen. Material is treat me. As you are going to the shop and you are waiting. So ideally, everybody likes that the waiting time should be zero, or it should be as minimum as possible. Skew length should be less. Skew. Skewing theory is very important. Like you go to the salon, you go to the doctor, or you go to the shop. You, uh, if the length is more, definitely you become nervous. Uh. So the people they will give the token. You know, your number is this one, two, three, five. You come after say one hour, or you come after 30 minutes, hmm? or you take an appointment, tomorrow's appointment, you come at 11 15. So they try to reduce the queue, isn't it? This is how, huh? because see, if one person waiting for you know 60 minutes in a queue, there is a lot of wastage of you know man hour. Remember, one person sitting simply idle for one hour. That's why you know somebody. You, People have to take, you know, some studies has to be, you know, taken how to reduce the traffic. So, like uh, Sakinaka Junction or a, a, a traffic or a signal uh, where the traffic is jammed. You know, if there are 500 cars, you know, just waiting, imagine how much pollution, imagine how much, you know, if they are keeping their engines running, imagine how much fuel is wasted. Or if somebody is driving, just for three hours, you know, like, see, if the driver is driving, no problem. He's paid for that. But again, if he's, maybe if he's stuck for an half an hour, that is a waste. Or suppose if you are driving uh, and if you are holding a responsible person, responsible person, and if uh, you are driving for three hours just to reach your workplace uh, in the city itself, that's a waste of time, you know, your time. Because some more people are waiting for instructions. 
so that time also you have to so if finded people are at the at the junction so that and for one hour so find and man hours are lost and not only find and man hours the people of the instruction that time also you have to calculate these are different you know tools so many times the questions come you know what are the different tools uh, that will be used in lean manufacturing so cellular manufacturing tact time that is tact is nothing but time allowed or completion of the time task time allowed to complete the task that is what is your time then you have kanban so simply a short note can be asked on kanban or short note can be asked on many more many more in lean you know these are few you know important tools which are helpful for producing the best so tact is nothing but time allowed to complete the task now here the c should come for the complete but uh, in german actually the k is used in place of c like car so they will write, instead of car they write kr or car walls so they write k a r not c a r so it's actually derived from the german words so time allowed to complete the task in like suppose if you it is simple that tag tag like suppose if you want to many in an hour so what is the tag time 60 divided by 10 so 6 minutes so it gives you an idea that in 6 minutes you must complete the task so that you will be able to deliver 10 components in an hour yes now what happens now suppose with the order huge order now the manager told you to produce 20 components in an hour so your tag time will be 60 divided by 20 so in of 6 minutes it is now 3 minutes so you have to apply your own engineering skills to produce the same components huh, in 3 minutes instead of 6 minutes so maybe you will employ one machine or one resources one more person what not now there is a slack now instead of 20 or instead of 10 components now the slack is it now there are five components per hour so your task tag time becomes now 12 12 minutes so in this case what to do so now the your resources are idle so you have to take a decision as an engineer as a man to take a decision the how do i utilize my resources can i do some other activities parallel hmm? so can i go for this i call my staff one or two days and i complete the orders and then remaining you know days i ask them to come home or i give them layoff this also is observed in many of the companies that giving the layoffs to the because there is no work and giving the layoff means it's not that uh, they are retrenched they are paid but they have to sit at home because that is advantage to the company because when the people come to the in, in the company then there are expenses because then you have to take care of their food then lighting arrangement all those you know, bills etc water or rent sort of that sit at home we will pay okay so we will continue this next time you know prof so if you have any doubt you ask otherwise i can leave Thank you very much.